Hello everybody and welcome back to the Soda Solar Solar Install channel. Uh, got an encore, encore performance. This is the third one we've had in the uh, driveway this week. I uh, got an Airstream we're putting, hopefully getting 300 watts of solar on it. Little Airstream Bambi. And we're getting, uh, just putting a solar controller in, making it nice and simple. But I wanted to show you, first off, uh, well, let's show you what we're thinking about doing for solar here. So this is what we're thinking. Uh, two of the hundreds, one of the fifties, and another 50 over there. These are rich solar. Uh, and then we'll use all three of the ports there because these are gonna all end up probably running in parallel, I'm thinking. It's not usually my MO. Uh, I think that might be best. Yeah, we'll see. We'll play around with it. That's what we're gonna do here. But I've been having some trouble down. Well, let me show you what I've been having trouble with down there. Just figured it out, wanted to share. So what I just figured out here was, well, one, this is pretty cool. They got a nice uh, diagram here to show you where all the wires go, except the wire I'm looking for. Now, what you're supposed to try and find in here when you hook up a solar charge controller is a yellow and green wire. And I've hooked to these up plenty of times. Uh, typically, I'm upgrading the controller, or we're doing bigger stuff, and I saw this little yellow wire, and I'm like, that's just not big enough. So I got to thinking, did more digging online. Everyone says, well, there's a yellow and green wire in here. Well, I got a little smart, and I disconnected this. And once you know it, tucked these two pairs of wires that were literally tucked in there. I could just barely see them. And this is about as much as I'm getting. Uh, I could maybe get a little bit more. I think that'll be just enough to strip and uh, put some extensions on. And I can get the over to here. And then we'll install our disconnect and solar charge controller over there. But... Uh, Airstream, you did not leave me much to work with. That's why uh, sometimes, I hate to say it, but there's a little bit of an Airstream premium uh, when you're working on stuff. It just, everything takes just a little bit longer. So we're ready to get a solar charger, breaker, and DC connections made. Thought I'd go over exactly what I'm doing here. And a way I'm trying to make my life just a little bit easier, and maybe yours too, if you're gonna do this, uh, is I went ahead and pre-assembled this in the garage, and then I'll put it in there. Now my wire lengths might be a little bit off, uh, but if anything, I, I uh, erred on the side of a little bit longer, and I think that generally leads to better maintenance. So, got uh, solar coming in here, and I like to use the red and black, because it helps keep the positive and negative straight on here. Uh, I do, up on the roof now, we're doing just all black because with the MC4 connectors, as long as you do them one at a time, it's pretty hard to screw that up too bad. And then on the DC connection here, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, so this is a 30 amp controller. We're using six gauge wire, which is good to 50 amps, normal load. Uh, some would say 80, I fuse it at 80. So I've even seen it fused uh, at 100. So what I plan on doing here to protect that is I'm just gonna tap or I'm gonna put it on the main bus bar here. And the reason why I think I can do that without a problem is um, that solar charger can never physically push enough power this way to overload that wire. The only thing we have to worry about is all the other stuff on here. But all that stuff is already protected with breakers here. These are thermal breakers here, each one of these. So the battery is here on one, the main here is on one. So if I just tie right into this one, it's protected by default everywhere else. That's what makes sense to me anyway. So um, I'm just gonna do that. All right, got uh, solar mains connected. I'm not gonna lie, that was not fun. Getting those in there, but they're in there. Heat shrunk, should be in good shape. All right, here it is. Everything's all buttoned back up. Got the uh, smart solar 30 amp charger in there, solar breakers. In good shape. So here's uh, got all the panels hooked up, and uh, yeah, we kind of end up doing parallel because these two are different, and we might get a lot of partial shading. This is just such a small rig. Uh, I'm thinking, believe it or not, parallel might just be better. I'm usually team series, but uh, this one 
decided to uh, go a little different route and uh, yeah so next move is to uh, uh, secure all these down and a little interesting thing I had to do was so like this panel you can see it I've got uh, the feet there on the ends and then I got one foot on the side and another one on the end there and the reason for that is well uh, it'd be hard that foot that foot would be kind of up in the air a little bit too much on the end there and especially and then I did it uh, on that side too so I was just trying to avoid it uh, being in the slope of the Airstream slopey part there. I don't know what the official term is. So that's what I'm doing, sealing it down, screwing it down, and then away we go. Well, we're trying to beat the rain here, and I think we just did. All the panels are down and secure. Uh, we did that thing that we've done before with Airstreams where we share the bracketing to save just a little bit of space with these 100 watt panels. Uh, we've got 300 watts on here and tell you the truth, there's probably room for two more 50s right there if you really wanted to get this up to 400 watts. And uh, if I was to do that, I would just uh, parallel up uh, an additional set into one of those three ports. Uh, doubling up on one of the ports is just fine. Uh, you wouldn't want to run everything into one port unless you're running series, which we've, we've done before, as we've talked about. So, uh, boy, I think that's going to about wrap this one up here. I just got to get the scaffold out of here, clean up all my stuff, make sure everything's cleaned up in there, and then a uh, customer will pick it up. So with that one, uh, I believe we complete the hat trick on the week of doing three projects. Actually, it's cheating a little bit. We sent the... Uh, uh, the first project home on Sunday, and I guess we're completing this one on Saturday, so give us a hat trick, come on. Uh, yeah, so if you need help with your Airstream, your uh, bus conversion, your whatever you got that's got wheels or maybe even doesn't have wheels that you want solar on, we'd love to help you out. So hit us up, uh, sodasolar.com. Uh, you can email, fill out a form, even just give us a quick text. Hey, I need some help. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'd like to help you out. So thanks for watching. And oh yeah, the website, sodasolar.com. S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R.com. All right, you guys have a good one. Stay charged.